and Julia Sondu, showing you where development is happening. Please come and join us. Nigerians calling for coup over hardship under Tinubu government are evil people, says Chief of Defense Staff. Musa, who said the armed forces would continue to protect the country's democracy, warned that the long arms of the law would soon catch up with the proponents of coup d'etat. The Chief of Defense Staff, General Christopher Musa, has warned people calling for a coup over the current economic hardship in Nigeria. Musa, who said the armed forces would continue to protect the country's democracy, warned that the long arms of the law would soon catch up with the proponents of coup d'etat. While fielding questions from journalists when he inaugurated the main entrance of the 6th Division, Nigerian Army and Officers Transit Accommodation in Port Harcourt, Rivers State, the CDs admitted that the country was going through serious economic challenges. He, however, insisted that having a military coup in the country was not an option. He said the military would protect Nigeria's democracy, saying Nigerians want democracy and the country does better under democracy. He said the military would continue to support democracy, adding that the people calling for coup d'etat are evil people, who don't mean well for Nigeria. He warned such people to be very careful because the law will come after them. According to him, everybody goes through a trying period in life. You can see the government putting efforts to ensure that we come out better. And it is when you go through difficulties and come out better you will really appreciate what it is to build a nation, he said. Nigeria's Naira on Wednesday crashed to a record low against the dollar on the official market, as the swift decline continued amid the government's clampdown on currency speculators. Meanwhile, there have been protests against hardship, rising inflation and high cost of living in several parts of the country following some economic policies of President Bola Tanubu's administration including the floating of the Naira and removal of fuel subsidy. Explaining the reasons for recent military coups in Africa. Why has West Africa experienced so many military coups over the past couple of years? Ruben Twinamajuni and Hannah Musi say the inadequacies of the African Union are only part of the problem. They argue that the phenomenon is also the result of internal and external forces that impede united African action. The African Union has a mandate to maintain peace and security in the region. Yet since its inception in 2002, the Union, comprised of 55 member states, has grappled continuously with this challenge. The increasing number of military coups in Western Africa and the Sahel is a worrying testament to the Union's shortcomings. Military coups in Africa. With coups rampant throughout the continent since 2011, the Union has lost its grip on peace. Actors both local and international have exerted their influence over these coups. Examples are the events in Libya, Egypt and Tunisia in 2011, Burkina Faso in 2014 and 2022, Zimbabwe in 2017, Algeria and Sudan in 2019, Mali in 2020 and 2021, Guinea in 2021, Niger in 2023 and Gabon in 2023. Unfortunately, the governments that follow these coups have failed to address the circumstances that caused them. This, of course, leads to further coups. Succeeding regimes entrench themselves in power by corruption and by marginalizing their political adversaries. Eventually, rising mass poverty provokes deep political disgruntlement. Political instability triggers a coup, and so the cycle continues. Unconstitutional changes of government. The Accra Declaration on Unconstitutional Changes of Government in Africa requires the African Union to condemn unconstitutional government changes. These include coups and manipulations of democratic processes. However, many African leaders have held on to power for decades through manipulated constitutional amendment processes, electoral fraud, and suppression of the opposition. Examples include Equatorial Guinea, Cameroon, the Republic of the Congo, Uganda, Eritrea, Djibouti and Rwanda. To combat this, the Union must push for adherence to term limits, for free and fair elections, and for respect for election outcomes. In response to constitutional manipulation and electoral fraud, citizens protest, or the military stages a mutiny. Both responses lead to so-called unconstitutional government changes. Coups are not just a cry for help. 
they are attempts by the military to take matters into their own hands and make a democratic stand. Foreign armies in Africa. The Accra Declaration rejects foreign interference in peace and security matters. Such foreign interference includes the financing of coups and the mobilization of mercenary forces to African states. While the African Union's Peace and Security Council has a mandate to promote peace, security, and stability, 13 foreign countries have military bases on the continent. There are over 11 military bases in the Horn of Africa alone. Foreign armies sustain their presence by cozying up to friendly regimes. Thus, they manage to expand their own influence without contributing to Africa's development and security. African authoritarian leaders exploit this phenomenon. They welcome overseas military presence to help maintain their hold on power in the face of a passive and toothless African Union. He who pays the piper calls the tune. The challenges to Africa's unity stem from a lack of effective leadership. Unlike European unity, preceded by well-established nations, African unity tends to be hampered by the fact that the continent is comprised of developing countries that exist largely through foreign support. Besides perpetuating corruption, foreign aid compromises the ability of African governments to act on their own accord. African governments are thus encouraged to pledge even stronger allegiance to their foreign benefactors. The African Electoral Problem and its Contribution to Coups the African Charter on Democracy, Elections and Governance promotes democracy and encourages free and fair elections. Electoral malpractice, however, is widespread in Africa. The continent's elections are marred by fraud, discrimination and fake votes. Elections can be tense affairs in countries with authoritarian legacies or ethnic divides. And poverty can make people susceptible to vote buying or selling. In Africa, elections are often merely a tool for elites to gain power through intimidation, fraud, and manipulation of tribal and religious allegiances. As Western powers pursue their own interests, their influence in African elections results in the appointment of puppet leaders opposed to popular opinion. Contrary to its mandate, the African Union favors state regimes over democratic commitments. This is why its response to government crackdowns has been so limited. Though quick to condemn military coups, the Union has limited power to prevent member states violating democratic norms. Meanwhile, on the 22nd of February 2024, Nigerian military issues strong warning to those calling for coup. The Chief of Defense Staff, General Christopher Musa, has warned Nigerians calling for coup d'etat in the country to desist from it or wait for the law to catch up with them. Musa, who called the coup advocates enemies of Nigeria, restated the commitment of the military to continuing to protect democracy in the country. Musa said this on Wednesday while answering questions from journalists, stated, whoever is making that call, coup, does not love Nigeria. We want to make it very clear that the armed forces of Nigeria are here to protect democracy. This is the end of our program today. See you on Intervlog same time tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get new video updates. Thank you for watching Intervlog. Thank you.